my name is Blanca Espina and I'm part of a, a, a small group um, run by my husband Miguel Espina and Sylvia Roberts. We did a reach beyond, um, we went to the homeless shelter in Homestead and we were able to prepare food um, for the people that live there. While we were serving the food, I realized that there was someone that I recognized. So I was very sad to see her there. So I went around and I said, hello, Miss Diaz. She started to cry. She hugged me. She told me that she lost her home. She was forced to move out. Blanca, of course, um, reached out and said, that if there was any help um, that, that we can be part of, um, that we would be more than happy to help. And so uh, Blanca gave Mrs. Diaz her phone number. A couple of weeks passed, she finally called me to tell me that they were looking for a place for her to live. She wanted to know if our church will assist her. I said, don't worry, our small group will go and we will, we're gonna help you move. So we rented a truck and um, we bought her groceries and we took a Sunday to um, move her things from the hack center and from storage into her new house. Mrs. Diaz and her two grandchildren were very, very thankful um, for uh, our small group taking the time to not only move her items, but also make sure the house was clean. We're doing it because we're doing it from our hearts and also because we're living with, you know, we have Christ in our hearts and we're out there to serve our Lord. I feel um, overjoyed. It was not only a blessing, of course, to the Diaz family, but uh, definitely to us as a small group. It made us realize that it's really important that we do more Reach Beyonds. I strongly encourage all small groups to take part in Reach Beyonds. Not only will they just fill your heart with joy, but they will unite your small group more than you could ever imagine.